Hi, welcome again to VR for Work. This is our VR for Work quick tips session where we give a quick tip for a productivity or efficiency element within VR that you can implement to make your work faster and easier than ever before. Today, we're gonna to talk about voice recognition. Now, um, if you've watched any of the VR for Work material uh, up till this point, you know that one of the things I struggle with because I'm not a touch typist is text input when I'm working in my head mounted display, my HDM. And I hold great hope and promise for voice recognition. And in fact, I know from working in the medical field um, with physicians that voice recognition is a uh, accepted and effective input mechanism um, for digital life. So today we're going to talk about a real easy, real quick tip that's available to everyone that's a Windows 10 user today that you can use on your desktop. But again, you can also implement in your use of VR for productivity. So with that, let's get started. We're going to switch to our desktop. I'm going to lean in, and we're going to talk about using voice dictation with a uh, application that we reviewed a couple of weeks ago called Immersed. Now, Immersed is one of the leading um, desktop emulators in VR. You can uh, go and use Immersed uh, if you're in the Oculus uh, ecosystem today. You can sign up for a 14-day trial. I highly recommend it. Um, go out there, use it. Um, and it brings your uh, desktop or laptop monitors right into your VR display, and you can use them uh, immediately with great effect. But today we're going to talk about how we use vic voice dictation while we're in Immersed. And uh, I've done this uh, for the past month or so while I've been using Immersed, and I'm uh, getting better and better at it. So the first thing you want to do before you uh, embark upon this is test the sound settings on your system, on your desktop or laptop before you start. Uh, you wanna make sure that your microphone is set up accurately and correctly, and that your PC can hear you clearly. Now, in, in this particular example, and in, in my environment, my laptop sits across the room about 10 feet away from where I sit in my recliner and use Immersed. And I use a Bluetooth head, headset connected to my laptop, um, and that's what I use as my microphone and, and headphones when I have to listen to or interact with my device. So I need to go into my sound settings, make sure that that's set up, with the right microphone selected, and that the microphone is picked up well by the device. Um, and then under settings, in your uh, Windows settings, under ease of access, and then the speech item, there's a link you can click on to get more information about the Microsoft Dictation feature. And that's the feature we're going to be using today. Um, and it's, this is important to do because it'll pull up a web page, and we'll, we'll look at this in the demo, that gives you um, a number of uh, uh, items that you need to know and understand to get the most out of voice dictation. And if you learn just a, a couple of dozen uh, simple commands, you will be able to um, use voice to dictate uh, emails or even long form documents. Uh, again, very, very efficient. So you wanna start up the immersed host on your desktop and always check and make sure that it's up to date. And then you want to use Windows key plus H on your keyboard and that will start up the voice recognition um, on your desktop. So with that, let's jump in and see how this works. And so here we are, I'm launching Immersed in my Oculus headset. It's coming up. Yeah, Immersed is just a, a fantastic environment to get work done. Um, probably the best uh, application for flow and, and just presence of mind and, and efficiency in order to do work. So here we are now, uh, Immersed can give you multiple monitors that you can work with in your environment. But for the purpose of the demo, I just wanted one. I didn't want a bunch of monitors floating 
uh, in and out of view. So I've got my single uh, laptop monitor here. You can see up here on the left, I have the immersed host running, saying that I'm connected. And then I want you to notice this bar up in the upper right. That is the Microsoft uh, dictation bar. And you see a little microphone over on the left side of the, the what looks like a text entry box. And that's what we're gonna utilize when uh, we use our dictation. So I'm just gonna get my monitor situated. I've got immersed up and connected. Move a couple of windows around and just highlighting and pointing out the Microsoft dictation bar. Now, this bar will float around on top. As you can see, as I open windows, it's gonna stay on top of, of any application that I open so that it's always there for you to invoke whenever you might need it. So I'm gonna go first um, into my sound settings where I can check and make sure, as I'd mentioned earlier, that my headset is selected and connected under devices, Bluetooth. And then into system, I'm gonna go into the sound item. And again, make sure that my output is my headset and my input or my microphone is also my headset. So I need those two things uh, correct before I even start. So connected to Immersed, I've got Windows dictation up and running. I've assessed that my headset, Bluetooth headset is connected and the microphone input is coming from the headset. So I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna pull up um, the web page that I'd mentioned earlier. And again, if you go into your settings, ease of access, speech, there's a link right there that will take you right to this page and it talk or <laughs> talks you through. It reads, allows you to read through all the commands available to you in the Microsoft dictation uh, application. And so it talks a little bit about uh, how you get to the dictation uh, feature, which we've already mentioned. Um, so just very basic information. And then you get to this long list of commands. I'm gonna pause here because if you can see this on your screen, there are lots and lots and lots of com commands. Clear this section, delete a unit of text, move the cursor to the end of the unit of text, move the cursor backward to the end of the unit of text. And uh, again, as I'd mentioned, I work in healthcare and it takes our physicians a good uh, 90 days of daily use to really get um, acclimated to using voice uh, dictation uh, in our environment. And it's going to take you a little while. It's very different um, methodology than uh, typing in terms of your flow of thought and of speech than your flow of thought to your hands. So it, it, it is a little uh, uh, off-putting maybe at first, um, but again, it's something that as you practice it, you get better and better at it. And so I keep this actually up because I've not memorized all the commands myself yet, but as I do um, and, and I use the commands uh, over a period of time, I can recall them and use them uh, pretty effectively. So here we are and I'm going to, uh, I'm in an email and I'm going to get ready to turn on and click the little microphone button you can see it comes up and it says initializing. And then after initializing, it will say listening. Once it's listening, my mic is hot, if you will, and it's ready to start typing for me. And here I go. So I want you to just pause here a second and take a look that that came out just about as fast as I spoke it. I mean, on my best days, I can't type that fast. So, so this is just, uh, really, really effective and efficient for me. Okay, and then the, uh, I just kind of keep talking. You're not hearing this uh, in the video and, and probably a good thing. That's not the necessarily part of the demonstration, but what I want you to understand is that again, my hands are not on the keyboard. I've got my two controllers in my hand while I'm doing this and I'm just speaking to my mic and Microsoft Dictation is taking care of the rest. And um, you can see that at some points, um, I even am able to put in punctuation. And this is another real strong suit with uh, Microsoft Dictation. So you get to the end of a sentence, you say period, 
it at first types out period, but then replaces it with a period and gives you a space. Um, you can do new paragraph to jump to a new paragraph. You can put in semicolon, you can put in quotes. Um, so again, the better you get at, um, at uh, learning the commands, the more effective and efficient you'll be at utilizing the application. And so here we are, you know, again, we're sitting in this great environment that Immersed gives you. I have my main screen up um, as big as I want it in the position I want it while I'm sitting in a comfortable recliner with the uh, hum of the space station kind of giving me that relaxing background noise uh, that I find very pleasant. And I'm just uh, dictating away. And then the few commands that I might need while I'm in here, Immerse gives me. So I can still uh, manipulate my mouse while this is going on and move my cursor. I can uh, select and bold things. Um, and uh, I can really get work done. And that's, that's what we're talking about here is really being able to get work done. Now I'll pause because I noticed that it had uh, actually put the word packing instead of picking here in this sentence for me. And I was able to say select packing. And then I said picking and it corrected it. And uh, the rest of this demo, I'm actually going to pause because it's just more of me playing around with the speech recognition. And so um, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this, uh, this session up. Again, I really wanna thank you for being here today, for tuning into VR for Work. We've got a lot of exciting content coming up for you. And um, just leaving you with the productivity inspirational quote of the day from Henry David Thoreau, deep thinker. It is not enough to be busy. The question is, what are we busy about? Deep thought from Henry David Thoreau. So again, thank you. Thanks very much for being with us today. This has been VR for Work Quick Tip. Please tune back in for more material here at VR for Work. Bye now.